Hi guys, welcome to Linda's Treasures. If you see this pot that I have right here, it's because I'm going to be making my most requested recipe, which is arroz con gandules or yellow rice with pigeon beans. So if that is something that you're interested in finding out how I finally make my recipe, please stay tuned. For today's video, I'm going to be making arroz con gandules it has been highly requested to make this video. I also have a special guest that is going to be helping me through the process. And my special guest today is my niece, Mari. Mari, welcome <laughs> to the kitchen. In today's video, she's gonna be helping me. I She has been with me for the last couple months. And since so she's been here with me, I have been teaching her some recipes, certain things that I do here in the house. And so one of the recipes that I've been teaching her is how to make arroz con gandules the way that Titi makes it. So I want you to stick around. I'm going to be sharing with you what the ingredients are. I'm going to also include all of the ingredients in the description box below just in case you need that for future reference. So let's get right to it. These are all the ingredients that we are going to be using in today's recipe. I'm just going to show you briefly uh, in no, no particular order, but I will share with you the specific way that I cook it when I were ready to go ahead and go into that. But we have here Goya Hamon seasoning, which is ham seasoning that we're gonna be using. We also have Sazon Goya with culantro y achote, which is almost that reddish spices that gives the rice the yellowish flavor. Instead of using oil, I particularly use coconut oil, you can use vegetable oil, you can use canola oil. I go a little bit healthier, so I'm gonna be using some coconut oil right here. This is my sofrito recipe, and I will link in the cards up top how I specifically make my sofrito for this particular recipe and any other recipes as soups, beans, and whatnot but we're gonna be using some sofrito. I also have some medium green rice. Now I do know that in some particular areas or some states, medium green rice is difficult to find if you do not have medium green rice. You could also use alburio rice or long green rice, whichever you have, that is fine. I have here specifically medium green rice. I have some bay leaves right here some salt, some oregano that we're gonna be using. I have some garlic paste. I also have some cloves of garlic, whichever you feel that you want. You can mince two cloves of garlic or just simply use a garlic paste. If you want a little bit of both, then you can just simply add a little bit of both. That is great. I also have one eight ounce can of Tomato sauce, we're only gonna be using about four ounces or half a can there. Here you see some fresh cilantro and I also have some fresh culantro, which is the cousin of the cilantro. Culantro or recao, culantro, recao, whichever you wanna call it, depending on the, you know, from what place you originally are from. This culantro is definitely a lot more stronger in flavor and scent than the cilantro, but I like to mix both of them because I like the combination of flavor. And this is the star of the show, the gandules. Uh, we have some gandules here. I'm going to be inserting a clip. I do have a gandule tree. I am very blessed that here in the Houston area, I was able to plant a tree of gandules and I have been very blessed with a wonderful harvest. So I gather my beans and then I boil them and I prepackage them and use them and have them ready to go when I'm ready to cook. And I just put them in Ziploc bags like this. And these are just ready to go and I freeze them. That's why this one is getting ready to thaw out. And lastly, I do have some Canadian ham that I have cut in little cubes right here. You can also use bacon if you want. You can cook with bacon or you can use regular ham, whichever you like. In this particular video, I'm going to be using some Canadian bacon. Right here, we have some fresh gandules. You can purchase gandules at the grocery store in a can 
But in my situation, I have been truly blessed with being able to grow and harvest gandules out of my backyard. So all I do is harvest them, boil them for 25 to 30 minutes until they are tender. Then I will divide them and add them in Ziploc bags and freeze them until I am ready to cook them. We're gonna start off with heating the pan on high and starting off with a tablespoon of oil. In this case, I am using coconut oil, but if you have canola oil, vegetable oil, whatever oil of your preference, you can use that. You can also use bacon, ham pieces. Here in my case, I'm using some Canadian ham and about one tablespoon of garlic paste, and we're gonna be sauteing this in high heat. If you do not have tomato paste, feel free to use about two cloves of minced garlic to saute with this mixture. Then as we continue to saute the, the garlic and the ham with a little bit of the oil, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of sofrito. Again, I have left the sofrito recipe in the cards and i will also link it in the description box listed below with all of the details of this recipe for future reference as noted before we're then going to be adding one envelope of the goya jamon or the ham seasoning and one envelope of the sazon goya which is the reddish orange seasoning We're gonna to continue to saute this in high heat or medium high heat. As the pot does this thing on the stove, we're gonna move along over to the sink. Here I have two cups of medium grain rice as stated before. We're gonna simply rinse this off with lukewarm water. We're gonna be removing any excess starch that the rice might have, looking for any imperfections of any dark grains that may not look appealing and good, removing those as well as removing any little rocks that sometimes might creep up into the bags of rice. Once we are done rinsing the rice, we're not gonna put it in the pot just yet. We're just gonna go ahead and let it sit on the side of the stove, ready for the next step. We're then gonna be adding about four ounces of tomato sauce. I had shown you the can of tomato sauce previously, but I had leftover tomato sauce in my refrigerator that I had on this mason jar. So we're gonna simply add that into the pot to continue to saute. At this time, we're gonna be adding our gandules into the pot. If you have your can of gandules, you can open that up and add that into your pot. In my case, I had boiled my fresh beans and that is what I'm adding into my mixture here. You wanna make sure that you incorporate the gandules into your sauce. Next, we're gonna get ready to add some oregano. You wanna add about a teaspoon of dry oregano, but if you're one of those lucky ones that have fresh oregano, you can do that too. Then you wanna add some salt to taste. In my case, I add about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half, depending on how many cups of rice I'm gonna be cooking on that particular day. We're gonna add about one bay leaf. My poor little bay leaf broke in half, so I added the pieces in there. It doesn't matter, it's all about flavor. I'm 
I'm pretty sure you were wondering when we were gonna finally add the rice, right? So this is when we're gonna do it. So we're gonna add the rice that we had pre-washed and pre-rinsed earlier with water, add that there. Now the rule of thumb is if you're using one cup of rice, add one cup of water. If you're having two cups of rice, then add two cups of water. Now you wanna make sure that this is uh, enough water, then just simply add a teaspoon in the center. And if it's upright, then you have more than enough water. That's a tip for you. We finally incorporated all the ingredients together there and we got the thumbs up of the little chef right there. And now we still have this at a medium high to high heat. You do not wanna cover or put the lid on it. You wanna make sure that it is bubbling until it's almost to this point and stage of the cooking of the rice where you still see some liquid but it's not completely evaporated. At this point, you wanna give it a mixture and folding it in and then lower your heat to low or medium low, then cover it with your lid. Because I have an herb garden, we're gonna be snipping a couple stems of fresh cilantro because we do like to add this a little bit towards the end of the cooking of my rice. Periodically, ever so often, you wanna make sure that you check your rice, turning it over, making sure that all of your grains are cooking evenly. And this pot of rice looks absolutely gorgeous. Some people like to add little pieces of roasted red peppers. You can add that in there. The sky's the limit to what you wanna to add towards the rice. So then you wanna simply add this to a beautiful plate. You can accompany this with some platanos, with some chuletas, some pork chops, or some chicken like I did resting on a bed of spinach and it is absolutely delicious. I hope that you really enjoyed this recipe. Again, this was something that was so requested by so many people and I finally was able to do it. If you happen to enjoy this video, please feel free to hit a thumbs up, share it, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.